Hi guys, and welcome back to Creative Glam. I'm so glad you stopped by. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Sharon. Here on Creative Glam, I love to share videos on all things home, like seasonal home decor, high-end DIYs, cleaning and organizational videos, shopping hauls, food, and travel too. As I said, all things home. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel by clicking that subscribe button below and turning on your notification bell to all so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I would also appreciate if you leave me a comment and make sure you hit that like button because this helps my channel to grow here on YouTube. In this DIY, I'm gonna make clay beads and I'm gonna string them as garland, similar to the ones that I saw at Pottery Barn. I purchased this clay from Amazon, so I'm gonna take this clay and I'm going to form beads. I'm going to use either the meatballer, we'll see, I've never done this before, so we're gonna see if that'll work, or we'll use the little pots to form similar sized balls. And then I will pierce them to make the hole so that I can thread them for garland. And I'll let them air dry. And once they air dry, then I can paint them and string them. This is a five pound container of clay. Uh, I believe it comes in two pounds, five pounds, and 20 or 25 pounds, which was way too much for me. I thought five pounds would be enough. I think this should be sufficient for what I'm gonna do today. So let's get started. This is my first time doing this. So uh, I'm excited and interested all at the same time. There's water in the bag. It's very moist. It's a little stiff. And I guess the thing is I want to try and get them all about the same size. Um, which is why I had the meatballer in the first place. <laughs> kind of gives me an idea. And I don't know if I shove this in here, will I be able to get it out? You guys are going to learn right along with me today. You can get it in there, but I can't get it out without tearing it apart. All right, so that's not working. It's quite pliable. I mean, it's just like making meatballs. If you've ever made homemade meatballs before, it's that's exactly what this is reminding me of. It's tedious, but it's worth it in the end. Saw someone else working with these, sort of like that, which gives you that smooth ball effect. And then all I'd have to do is put a hole in them. All right, well, I've got one down and 15 to go. This helps to smooth it and shape it. And when I pierce it, I'm spinning it too. So there they are. All done, I have 15 of them. So I'm gonna let these dry overnight and then I will come back and string them tomorrow. And hopefully they'll dry this color. If not, then I'll have to paint them, let that dry and then string them. Okay, so it's the next day and the clay beads are all dry. One of them even cracked on me. You see that? But that's okay, I'm gonna use it. But they look fantastic. They came out really well. And I made a couple little end pieces here that I'm gonna try and use, but I don't know if the hole will be large enough to string. We'll see, I gotta try and work that out. Um, I love the way they look in their natural state, but I am going to give them a coat of white chalk paint.
the donut holes at Dunkin' Donuts. That's what they look like. That or I'm just hungry. Okay, my clay beads are all dried. Uh, I let them dry overnight. I then came back and did a light hand wash of white chalk paint on top of the clay beads. And now I'm ready to string my clay bead garland. Oh, and I also picked up, I already had the jute, and I picked up some faux leather teardrops that I'm gonna use as my tassels. And I'm gonna start with the teardrops. All right, there it is, guys. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. And I'm hoping that this video gave you tons of inspiration. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bells. I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. So hit that like button, too. At the end of this video, you'll see two video links. Click one to see more home decor and DIYs by Creative Glam. And leave me a flower in your comment to let me know that you enjoyed this type of content and you made it all the way to the end.
And with that being said, have a blessed day. And I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.